Dorothy. I want a driver's license. What for? I'm doing a lot of stunt work in the new Burt Reynolds movie. Why do you think? Come on, Ma, you haven't driven in years. Why is this coming up now? This morning at the center, Gladys Weinstock and I had a fight. We both claim we're natural redheads, but of course, at our age, we can't prove it anymore. So? So, when I pulled out my license to show her, everyone saw it was expired. It made me feel old, Dorothy. I want to learn again. Oh, come on. Ma, you're 81 years old. Your eyesight is weaker. Your reflexes are slower. And who are you, Magic Johnson? <laughs> Dorothy, please. Oh, all right, Ma, all right. Well, give it a try. But, Ma, if anything goes wrong, we stop. Relax. There are some things you never forget. Driving a car is like making love. In both cases, a mirror makes objects appear larger than they really are. <laughs> I'm just so angry. Floyd McCallum just called me one hour before he's supposed to pick me up in his brand new two-tone Mercedes. He's canceled our date for tonight. Well, he probably had a good reason. Oh, he said he had to go and visit his sick mother in the hospital. Did oh. you ever hear such a weak excuse? And his mother isn't in the hospital. Well, of course she is, but he can visit her anytime. <laughs> he can only see me tonight. <laughs> Is my cousin Sven here yet? Uh, no. Oh, good. I got caught up at work and I barely had time to pick up this cake. I wanted to make Sven feel welcome. Rose? That cake is from the Get It While It's Hot Erotic Bake Shop. Whoa! <laughs> Why, Rose Nylon? Why, that cake is in the shape Blanche, of... Blanche, we know what it is. I thought it was in the shape of Florida. <laughs> That reminds me, I gotta give Charlie Milburn a call. If this cake reminds you of Charlie Milburn, we could both give him a call. Uh, Rose, how, how long is your cousin uh, Sven going to uh, be uh, staying here with us? Oh, just a couple of days. On Saturday, he's flying back to St. Olaf to meet his fiancée. Oh, she went on alone. No, he's never met her. It's an arranged marriage. Uh, see, little Sven's father, we call him Big Sven, uh, left the old country two years ago and settled in St. Olaf. And then he sent for the rest of his family. First, he brought his father over. We call him Big Sven, too. Well, doesn't that get confusing, having two Big Svens? There aren't, Blanche. There's Big Sven and Big Sven, too. Like Jaws and Jaws, too. <laughs> Rose, are there any of your relatives named Psycho and Psycho too? Anyway, Big Sven picked out a bride for little Sven, and, and now he's flying him over. Oh, I don't know. It did seem so unfair to me, an arranged marriage. Oh, I don't know, Dorothy. I think it can be fun. George and I had that kind of marriage. George would dress up as a ghost and chase me around the house with one of those little fly swatters, and then when he caught me... But Blanche... <laughs> I'm talking about arranged marriages, not deranged marriages. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, but that must be Sven. Cousin Rose? Cousin Sven! Oh, 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 let me look at you. Boy, have you grown. <laughs> We've never met. <laughs> met, you have grown. <laughs> Uh, Rose, could you uh, introduce Blanche and me? Oh, of course. Uh, Dorothy, this is Blanche. Blanche, this is Dorothy. We <laughs> <laughs> have jokes like that around here all the time. <laughs> it's like living in a house full of Howie Mandel. <laughs> Sven, I'm Dorothy. Hello. And I'm Blanche. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Rose tells us you're getting married. <laughs> yes, and I hope I'm good at it. <laughs> I don't have that much experience with women. A big, strong, handsome thing like you get out of here. <laughs> well, it was nice meeting all of you. That was an expression, Sven. You know, I never thought I'd say this, but I think Rose got the brains in that family. 